Orange Shirt Day is a day of reflection. It is a day that calls for deep introspection and collective remembrance. The orange shirts worn by participants are not just a symbol, but a statement of solidarity and a call to action. They remind us of the stories that need to be told and the voices that need to be heard. It is a day to remember and honor the experiences of indigenous children. These children, who were once full of life and culture, faced unimaginable hardships. Their stories are a testament to their resilience and strength. The memorial events held on this day serve as a poignant reminder of the past and a hopeful vision for the future. These children were taken from their families and forced into boarding schools. The separation was not just physical, but emotional and cultural. They were stripped of their languages, traditions, and identities. The historical photos and reenactments serve as a stark reminder of the trauma inflicted upon these young souls. This day is about acknowledging a painful past and supporting healing for indigenous communities. Healing ceremonies and cultural rituals play a crucial role in this process. They provide a space for collective mourning, reflection, and the beginning of healing. These gatherings are a testament to the strength and resilience of indigenous communities. Orange Shirt Day is observed annually and falls on September 30th. This date is significant as it marks the time of year when indigenous children were taken from their homes to attend residential schools. By marking this day, we ensure that the memories of these children are never forgotten and that their stories continue to be told. The color orange represents a symbol. It is a powerful reminder of the loss and pain endured by indigenous children. The orange shirt has become a symbol of the stripping away of culture and identity that happened to indigenous children in boarding schools. It also represents the hope for a future where such injustices are never repeated. It symbolizes the stripping away of culture and identity that happened to indigenous children in boarding schools. The empty classrooms and abandoned buildings stand as silent witnesses to the past. They remind us of the importance of preserving and honoring indigenous cultures and identities. On this day, we come together to ensure that the lessons of the past are not forgotten and to work towards a future of healing and reconciliation. Indian boarding schools operated for over a century. These institutions were established in the late 19th century and continued well into the 20th century, with the last of them closing only in the 1970s. Their primary purpose was to assimilate indigenous children into Euro-American culture. They were a tool of assimilation, designed to erase indigenous identities and replace them with Western norms and values. The children were taught to abandon their native languages, customs, and beliefs with the goal to strip indigenous children of their heritage. This process was often brutal and dehumanizing, as children were forced to cut their hair, wear uniforms, and adopt new names. Children were taken from their homes and forced to attend these schools, often without the consent of their families. This separation caused immense emotional pain and trauma for both the children and their parents, which were run by the government and religious institutions. These organizations believed they were civilizing the indigenous population, but in reality, they were perpetuating cultural genocide. The impact of these schools was devastating. The children were subjected to harsh discipline, inadequate nutrition, and overcrowded living conditions. Many suffered from neglect and disease. Children were punished for speaking their languages. They were often beaten or humiliated for using their native tongues, which led to a loss of linguistic diversity and cultural knowledge and were forbidden from practicing their traditions. Traditional ceremonies, dances, and songs were banned, further eroding the cultural fabric of indigenous communities. Many children endured physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. The trauma inflicted by these experiences has had long-lasting effects, contributing to cycles of abuse and mental health issues in indigenous communities. The trauma of these experiences continues to affect generations of indigenous people. However, there is a growing movement to reclaim and revitalize indigenous cultures. Communities are working to heal and preserve their heritage, ensuring that the dark legacy of Indian boarding schools is never forgotten. CHIRP stands for California Heritage Indigenous Research Project. It is a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving and promoting indigenous culture. They work to increase awareness about indigenous history and issues, playing a vital role in organizing Orange Shirt Day events. CHIRP's mission is to amplify indigenous voices. They work to ensure indigenous perspectives are heard and strive to create a more just and equitable society. Their efforts contribute to healing and reconciliation. 
The third annual Orange Shirt Day event is a community gathering. It is a time for remembrance and reflection, organized by CHIRP and the Nevada City Rancheria Nisanon Tribe. It is an opportunity to show solidarity with indigenous communities. This year's event will be held on September 30th at Sierra Pines United Methodist Church. The event is open to the public and all are welcome to attend. Section 5. A Celebration of Resilience and Culture The Orange Shirt Day event is a celebration of indigenous culture. It is a testament to the resilience of indigenous people. The event will feature a variety of activities. There will be drumming and singing, traditional storytelling will be shared, attendees can participate in beading workshops, they can learn about traditional crafts, there will be opportunities to purchase indigenous-made goods. This supports indigenous artists and businesses. Section 6. Answering the Call to Action Volunteering is a meaningful way to get involved. Volunteers are needed to help with event setup. They can assist with activities. They can help welcome attendees. Volunteering is a way to show support for indigenous communities. To volunteer, contact CHIRP. They will provide information on how to sign up. Volunteers play a crucial role in the event's success. Section 7. The Importance of Bearing Witness Attending Orange Shirt Day is an act of bearing witness. It is acknowledging a painful history. It is about listening to the stories of survivors. It is about honoring the strength and resilience of indigenous people. Bearing witness is a step towards healing. It is a way to show solidarity. It is a commitment to creating a more just future. Section 8. The Power of Shared Stories Stories have the power to heal. They connect us to the past. They help us understand the present. Sharing stories is an important part of Orange Shirt Day. Through stories, we learn from the mistakes of the past. We gain a deeper understanding of the impacts of residential schools. We create a space for healing and reconciliation. Section 9. Honoring the Past, Shaping the Future this section is dedicated to understanding the importance of remembering our history and using that knowledge to build a brighter future for the generations to come. Orange Shirt Day is not just about the past. It is a day of reflection, a day to honor the survivors of residential schools, and a day to remember those who did not make it home. It is a day to acknowledge the pain and suffering endured by indigenous communities. It is about the present and the future. It is about recognizing the resilience and strength of indigenous peoples. It is about celebrating their culture, traditions, and contributions to society. It is about ensuring that the stories of the past are not forgotten and that they serve as a foundation for a better tomorrow. It is about ensuring that history does not repeat itself. By acknowledging the injustices of the past, we can work towards a future where such atrocities are never repeated. It is about standing in solidarity with indigenous communities and advocating for their rights and freedoms. It is about creating a better future for indigenous children, a future where they can grow up in a world that respects their identity, heritage, and culture, a future where they can thrive and achieve their dreams without fear of discrimination or prejudice. By learning about the past, we can shape a better future. Education is key to understanding and healing. By educating ourselves and others about the history and experiences of indigenous peoples, we can foster empathy, respect, and reconciliation we can work towards justice and equality. It is about taking action and making a commitment to support indigenous communities in their fight for justice. It is about recognizing their sovereignty and ensuring that their voices are heard and respected. We can create a world where all children are valued and respected, a world where diversity is celebrated and where every child has the opportunity to reach their full potential. By honoring the past and shaping the future, we can build a society that is inclusive, just and equitable for all. Section 10. A Ripple Effect of Understanding Every act of awareness creates a ripple effect. When we learn about Orange Shirt Day, we share that knowledge. We start conversations. We inspire others to learn. This ripple effect creates change. It breaks down barriers. It fosters understanding and empathy.